my first time painting stuff with cloaks or like human faces. For my first attempt at web blending, I think primarily I did a pretty good job, but it was very hard because the paint dried up really quickly and it made that whole wet process very difficult. The storm cloud was actually the biggest thing I've ever painted, so that was actually a real challenge. It wasn't so much a challenge in terms of getting the highlighting right or the blue laid onto it or the metal. It was just a challenge because it took so fucking long and it was a lot to do. Cool. We're with Ellie here with his um, Fiora, yes? Yes, Fiora. E, uh, P Fiora, not E. And Manfred? Or no, he's one Count, of the... Count Vlad Von Karst. There you go. He's the one who's stupid sometimes. <laughs> uh, love the model. I, just, I love painting the models. I got into the hobby for painting and I've been doing it for about almost 10, almost 10 years now. Oh my god. And so that's how long it takes to paint like that. Um, Got go into War Machine recently and loving them off, loving the fact that you can burn everything and, and that's right. hence why you see the, the custom fire and the OSL. I just thought you've got to do these models justice. they got some PP to some really, really, really good models and um, I, I feel I feel that you got to do them justice and that, that's how, that's why I take my time and, and paint so slowly and paint so delicately, intricately. So. Yeah, and, um, and my fantasy stuff, I started until I found War Machine, and now it's all on the back burner. Oh, the car ran over his models. That's right. And like I said, I like to do models. I like. I like to do them justice. So yeah, and that's why it takes some time. It took, um, takes me like two days to do a, to do like, to do that from start, start to finish in two days, and it shows. Yeah, it's just it's hard work. And my wife hates it. She kicks me in the ass. <laughs> Got other things you should be doing. But I like painting. But I do painting. Yeah, but it's just worth. It. I love it. It's a great hobby. And I think everybody should have a hobby, and this is a great one to have. Thank you very much, Elliot. Some sexual work here is definitely one of, if not the best painter at our club. Oh, thanks, Chris. Too, too kind, mate. Too kind, too kind. Too way too kind. Yeah, Shitty whatever. gamer, good painter. <laughs> Shitty gamer, my ass. <laughs> here he goes. He, 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 he wins the 40k tournament. So, Shitty gamer. Shitty gamer. Fuck off. <laughs> um, yeah, no, so hopefully we'll see uh, Ellie smashing out some Golden Demon stuff shortly. Oh, fingers crossed. Yeah. Alright, we're here with Jakob with his Space Wolves and Arjak and Scouts and Predator. Tell us a little bit about it, Ar Jakob. Uh, well, I started off with just Arjak for the painting comp and I decided I'd scratch build it because, well, I, I didn't like the Games Workshop model and like, he's, he's got in him uh, Chaos Lord bits, Space Wolf Terminator bits, but, uh, actually he's got Warmer Fantasy from Empire bits as well. He's carrying a door. For a shield. It's not actually a door, it's a, it's humongous. It's a lid, lid of the box for the rocket launcher from Empire or something like that. I was just trying to, because the Space Wolf colour scheme isn't, it, it's not It's not like Elder, it doesn't pop in, like Elder you can go crazy with, Space Wolf is kind of difficult to make him stand out properly, so I was, on oh, Jack, I was just trying to get him to sort of... You yeah, did a really, out. really nice job on the hammer, man. Is. Yeah, the hammer was actually it's my favourite bit on the model. So I was painting it and didn't like it. So I went on YouTube <laughs> and said, uh, painting Space Wolf Hammer. And, and yeah, I just saw that and I'll try that out. Alright. So yeah, the Wolf so, Scouts, no idea why I painted them because I've never used them. But I like the models. So. Pretty cool. And what about the tank? And I really like the color scheme that you use for all your vehicles. They look really cool from over the top and whatnot. Yeah, well, the tank is actually really lazy. I painted that up in maybe two or three hours. Because all, all I do is just grey and then I wash him and wash him with blue and then dry brush him and then put on some detail. I try not to do like uh, actual sort of battle damage. Yep. With the rust running down so it looks like it's been in combat for weeks or months or something like that. So I haven't repainted it yet because I really like that. Otherwise, the vehicles often look too pristine and I was trying to get away from that look. Ah, it's fantastic. Thank you very much. Alright, we are here with Ross's Gators. He is the winner of our painting competition. And he was going to tell us a little bit about his stuff that he did and be a pretentious wanker. Lana, Bart Reynolds and Gator! <laughs> yes, so the Warlock is not actually a Warlock. Um, it's a special kind of Warlock. He's called Wrong Eye and he's got his own pet beast called Snapjaw. He's the big motherfucker there. Uh, and then the unit I chose to paint was a unit of Gator Posse. Um, the five days there. 
uh, yeah, I mean, I decided on minions because minions are just fucking sweet, and I always wanted to paint some gators. Gators, yeah. Yeah. So apparently, I'm supposed to talk about my models. <laughs> um, <laughs> I. So I really want to make sure that I get a good close up of this. Of the little. Fuck me. Come on. Come on, macro. Fuck, Fuck me. me. There it is. Yeah. Um, so, yes, wrong eye. Um, it was the last model I painted in the bunch. Uh, there's actually a funny story about the whole painting of all this stuff. Um, I was doing some ironing one day because, you know, I'm, I'm not a mummy's boy and I knocked a bottle off the ironing board and, you know, I'm like, oh, I better pick that up. And the bottle was open and the bottle fell onto my painting tray. And what was inside the bottle was nail polish remover. <laughs> and if you've ever had that go onto paint, it kind of just removes it and fucks shit up. But anyway. Um, so yeah, that happened about halfway through painting the unit gator pop. Well, they'd finished and I was starting the other stuff, fucked up some of the gator pops. I had to redo it all, whatever. Um, yes, so, on to painting. Um, I started with the gator posse and I didn't do any blending of any sort, which was something I was meaning to do, but I got carried away with it and didn't want to go back again. Um, very muted palette besides the bone. Yeah. But that's that's how I like painting models. Um, if anyone's ever seen the stuff I paint, it's not shiny, it's not it's not fucking my little pony shit like that. Every, everything looks gritty and dirty Dark. and shit. And, and you know it's just not only is that the way I like my models to look, it's actually much faster and easier to paint it. And I'm not I'm not I sort of want to change it. The thing this painting competition taught me is that I realised I'm not a miniature painter, I'm actually an army painter. I don't like spending eight, ten hours on a single model. Um, I mean, this is probably about ignoring the redo time. It's probably about maybe 20 hours of work all up. Um, I don't know how that scales compared to other people. But, yeah, so the Gators, the unit, fairly basic for me. Um, Snapjaw, I started doing some blending on him. Um, some of that two brush wet blending I've done it a few times before yeah. I don't really like doing it but I thought it was kind of necessary because of how times. large his skin area is and, and all that um, and wrong eye did a bit of the same um, all the models have been washed uh, somewhat lightly considering my what's normal for me um, lightly with a mix of uh, whatever the fuck the new GW brown washes whatever the fuck the black washes and about the same ratio of water. So I use that on basically every model I have. Color. All right, and this is the winner of our competition, Mr. Ross, Mr. Gator Man from Louisiana, or some other. Yeah. Got yeah. Gator down in here, baby. Yeah. yeah. All right. This is Tim's hobby horse, amazingly, fantastically hilarious converted orc. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it, buddy? Uh, basically, eventually, uh, Sean was going to do up a Pegasus with a Space Marine riding it. Uh, as a general mockery of that, I've decided to put an orc on a flying hobby horse. Um, it is my first attempt at doing some fluffy stuff on the base, so that happened. Um, really, it's a combination of uh, Space Marine Blood Angel bits and uh, orc bits, just chuck together to see what happens and uh, that's it. Isn't this like your like what fifth or sixth finished model ever? Uh, yeah that would be my fifth yeah. <laughs> yeah fifth, fifth finished model so big shout out to Tim he's yeah. done some really good stuff so he's hoping it continues. Hobby Horse Orc so cool. Alright this is my little wagon made from various parts old rhino, old school vindicated turret, banerator door um, and an old Gorka Morka chassis. My god, I love the front. It's so cool. <laughs> it's such a cool piece. So there's like, not much you can say about it because... This is really heavy. Really? An old vindicated yeah. hunk of metal. The top's all ramshackle. Norky. And the, the coolest thing is that from the front, it doesn't... It kind of looks like a rhino, but it doesn't look like a rhino. <laughs> I think you've got that orky balance just right because there's so many orky conversions that you see and it just looks shitty. So it's really good. Yeah, all I do is just chop up a rhino and stick shit in it. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was as simple as that. Just one, I two, mean, three. How much more effort do you need to make an orc vehicle? <laughs> I love it. Right. Just Thanks, like an orc. All right. Uh, my name's Asher. This is my conversion model. Meant to be a demon prince or a giant chaos spawn. No, fuck. I'm, I'm going to do exactly what you said. <laughs> Continue. Include that. I am including that. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's some bloodthirster wings there, some Carnifex crushing claws, nice little old school blue horror on the top giving you the finger if you can't see that very well. <laughs> it's actually a Baylor from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. And what was the tailor used? Like some... Uh, I don't even know. That's a miscellaneous part <laughs> that came with a bit slot. <laughs> so cool. Um, yeah, a lot of this was done in maybe five minutes and it shows. <laughs> the most amount of effort's actually in the... Um, Blue horror on top, and uh, yeah. I still love it, it's such a cool conversion. There's so much going on. Yeah, I did it just using bits I had lying around and obviously looted a couple of my brother's Tyranid bits. Yeah. That uh, blue horror on the top actually is a last minute addition that I did like five minutes before we actually came in today. Hi, I care! <laughs> Made some last minute changes that I thought would impress the judges in a way that wouldn't in, let me in a win. Way, in a way that said, <laughs> right, sorry, you don't win on, on account of profanity. <laughs> it's fantastic, thank you, Asha. I am here with Chris with his amazing scratch build walker. Chris, why don't you tell us a little bit about this sexual panther? Okay, um, my walker is called the Talos Heavy Assault Walker. Um, it was originally supposed to be a dreadnought, and yes, it looks absolutely nothing, and it's gigantic. Um, but after quite a bit of playing around, it ended up into something that's not too bad. Um, this fellow took been the better part of a month to make. You have to give the paint job. It was done just this morning, so it was... I swear, I reckon you would have spent the past 24 hours, like, doing nothing but this. It was. Yeah, that's right. I haven't slept Rushed to get it done. Oh, just to finish it. Get it to a standard. I'll look at the back as well. It's got these yeah, sanguinary yeah, um, wings. Most of it is made out of plastic card and um, you can probably see the piping. Um, that plastic tube, that's all just been cut to size. Bit rough, but makes it look alright. Um, I've been a bit of a, bit of a, what do you call it? Scam artist. I've used um, Citadel's or GW's bases. You can see the squares on the side. Um, I've turned them into panels with a bit of a mural on the side. Yep. Um, that back pipe that you can just see um, is made out of Lego, and that was an absolute pain to fold, I'll tell you that, <laughs> but I got it in there. Um, the LAS cannons are all scratch built. Um, just so people know, this is a LAS destroyer. It's basically either a three shot LAS cannon or one strength 10 AP1 shot. Um, its left arm is what we're calling for now the Hastris Mega Bolter. It's basically a weaker version of the um, uh, Vulcan, but it's got more shots. Um, that's most of yeah, most of it is. Yeah, oh, that's something I forgot. This um, tabard that I've tried to make is made completely out of green stuff, um, which was I must say an absolute pest to get to stick to it. Um, but you can see it turned out all right. But for, I mean, for my first thing, I don't think it's too bad. Okay, so we've got a marine. And then we go to the Dreadnought. And there we go to the hum... I have to keep going back. <laughs> you have to go back. I'm not far back enough. To that humongous walker. Yeah. Um, and just in case people don't like to buy their own bases or they like making their own, um, just one quick thing what I did with mine. Um, if you look at it now, it kind of looks like, um, as many people in my club have said, um, either food of some sort, whether it's chocolate or steak. It's because it's on a plate. It is, um, but this, that is um, Selly's, um, oh, what do you call it, uh, no cracks gap filler. Yeah. Basically it's a powder that you mix with water, and what I've done, I didn't want to use like really thin foam or plastic card again, uh, so I just mixed up a crap load of this stuff, shaped it, and um, just get a bit of paint, and that's it. Suck some bits of terrain on it. Hmm. Man, that's so cool. So much time put into it. Well, thanks very much, Chris. It's, it's awesome. Cool. Congratulations.